Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Managing Cholesterol Introduction when your blood vessels are damaged, your body sends cholesterol through the blood to repair the damage. The resulting buildup of cholesterol in the blood vessels is called plaque. Plaque buildup contributes to heart disease and strokes. Your risk of heart disease and other health problems can be reduced with healthy lifestyle choices. These include eating a healthy diet and getting regular exercise. Medications are also often prescribed to lower your cholesterol levels. This program will help you understand cholesterol and how to control high cholesterol. What is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a waxy substance. It is found in the fat in your blood and in every cell in your body. Your body uses cholesterol to build healthy cells. Triglycerides are fatty acids that provide most of the energy needed by the body's tissues. They are a type of fat found in the blood and fat cells. Cholesterol and triglycerides are packed into lipoproteins by the liver. Lipoproteins carry fat and triglycerides to fat cells in the body through the bloodstream. LDL and HDL are types of lipoproteins. If your arteries are damaged, the liver sends LDL to the arteries to repair them. LDL cholesterol can build up inside the arteries. This is called plaque. Plaque buildup is known as atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis can lead to heart disease, heart attacks, and strokes. These are forms of cardiovascular disease. That is why LDL is commonly referred to as bad cholesterol. HDL usually collects the bad cholesterol and takes it back to the liver. HDL can help prevent heart attacks and stroke. That is why HDL is commonly referred to as good cholesterol. Cholesterol is only found in animal products. It is created in the liver. Vegetables do not contain cholesterol. Diagnosis Cholesterol levels should be checked by a healthcare provider every one to two years. The level of cholesterol in the body can be measured with a blood test. The results come as three main numbers, total cholesterol, LDL, HDL. Your healthcare provider will use your cholesterol levels to help you understand your risk of heart attack and stroke. Other serious risk factors for cardiovascular disease include high blood pressure, obesity, smoking. Other risk factors for cardiovascular disease include age. Men who are 45 or older and women who are 55 or older are at an increased risk for cardiovascular disease. Diabetes. Family history of heart problems. HDL level lower than 35. After considering all of your risk factors for cardiovascular disease, your healthcare provider will talk with you about healthy lifestyle habits. They may also recommend taking medication to lower your risk. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute, www.patient-education.com. Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Causes When your blood vessels are damaged, your liver sends more cholesterol through the blood to repair the damage. The resulting buildup of cholesterol in the blood vessels is called plaque. Plaque buildup contributes to heart disease and stroke. High cholesterol tends to run in families. Certain medical conditions can increase cholesterol levels. These include certain genetic diseases, diabetes, obesity, thyroid gland problems. Stress can also increase the levels of cholesterol in the body. Eating an unhealthy diet can contribute to plaque buildup and can make many health problems worse. Treatment options 
Lifestyle changes such as regular exercise along with a healthy diet can help lower your cholesterol levels. If a medical condition is causing high cholesterol, treating the condition can help bring your cholesterol levels back to normal. Medications may also be prescribed. The types of medications that are given depend on the patient's cholesterol levels, overall health, and risk of heart problems or stroke. Regular follow-up care with a healthcare provider is needed to make sure that the treatment is working. Diet Eating a healthy diet can help you lower your cholesterol levels. You can help keep your heart healthy by eating more nutrient-rich foods and less refined, processed, and fast foods. Vegetables and fruit are good sources of vitamins and minerals. They are also low in calories and rich in dietary fiber. Eating more vegetables may fill you up so you eat less of other less healthy foods and reduce your risk for heart disease. There are two kinds of dietary fiber, soluble and insoluble. Both kinds are healthy, but they help the body in different ways. Soluble fiber dissolves in water. Insoluble fiber does not. Insoluble fiber adds bulk to the stool to help prevent constipation. Soluble fiber helps lower bad cholesterol. Soluble fiber is found in plant foods, such as apples, pears, chia seeds, and kidney beans. It is also found in oatmeal and oat bran. Eating the right type of fat can help you prevent heart disease and stroke. Unsaturated fat is the healthiest kind. Saturated and trans fat raise your risk of plaque buildup. Saturated fat is usually solid at room temperature. It is found in many animal products such as red meat, cheese, milk, and butter. It is also found in palm and coconut oil. Replacing saturated fat with unsaturated fat can lower your risk of health problems. Healthy sources of unsaturated fat include avocados, canola and olive oil, salmon and other fatty fish, raw seeds and nuts. Talk to your health care provider for more information. Your body also needs protein to help you prevent heart disease. Nuts and legumes such as beans, peas, and lentils, skinless chicken breasts, and fish are examples of good sources of protein. Limit saturated fat by choosing low-fat cheese, skim milk, and lean meats. Cholesterol is found in many animal products, including egg yolks, cheese, and red meat but eating cholesterol may not affect the level of cholesterol in the blood very much. It affects some people more than others. Check with your health care provider for more information. Avoiding trans fat can help you prevent heart disease and stroke. Trans fat is found in many man-made products, such as baked goods, margarine, coffee creamer, and fried foods. Food labels may list zero grams of trans fat, but if the ingredient list contains the words partially hydrogenated, it does contain some trans fat. Eat as little trans fat as possible. Medications Lifestyle changes can help you manage your risk for cardiovascular disease, but your health care provider may also prescribe medications such as statins. Statins slow down the rate at which LDL is made. They also speed up the rate at which the liver destroys LDL. Mild side effects of statins may include upset stomach, constipation, and cramps. Rare side effects of statins include liver problems, memory loss or confusion, nerve or muscle damage, type 2 diabetes. If you choose to take statins, take coenzyme Q10 also known as CoQ10, or ubiquinol as a supplement. This may help prevent problems with your immune system and heart. Your health care provider may prescribe nicotinic acid to treat high cholesterol. Nicotinic acid, also known as niacin or vitamin B, can decrease levels of LDL and raise the levels of HDL. Side effects may include a higher risk of severe bleeding or diabetes. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Cholesterol is a waxy substance. 
When your blood vessels are damaged, your body sends cholesterol through the blood to repair the damage. The resulting buildup of cholesterol in the blood vessels is called plaque. Plaque buildup contributes to heart disease and strokes. The level of cholesterol in the body can be measured with a blood test. The results come as three main numbers, total cholesterol, LDL, HDL. Lifestyle changes such as regular exercise along with a healthy diet can help lower your cholesterol levels. Reducing stress can also help. You can keep your heart healthy by eating more nutrient-rich foods and less refined, processed, and fast foods. Eating the right type of fat can help you prevent heart disease and stroke. Unsaturated fat is the healthiest kind. Saturated and trans fat raise your risk of plaque buildup. Your healthcare provider may also prescribe medications such as statins. Statins slow down the rate at which LDL is made. They also speed up the rate at which the liver destroys LDL. If you choose to take statins, take coenzyme Q10, also known as CoQ10, or ubiquinol as a supplement. This may help prevent problems with your immune system and heart. Thank you for using Explain.